Welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn about data explosion and also try to understand how data explosion can cause a spill. And then how do we detect that kind of a spill and how do we tune the spill caused by the data explosion? So let's start. To help you understand the scenario, I have prepared a benchmark notebook. So let me go to my notebook and show you a spill in explode. So let's start with the problem statement. I have a team, uh, they have built a uh, Spark job. Uh, they are running that Spark job in the test cluster and they noticed something unusual or some performance problem and they came back uh, with the problem statement. We have a job where a specific query is running very slow. So they did some analysis and realized that there is one specific query which is running very slow. We have done some investigation and already implemented good number of shuffle partitions. So that tuning they have done, they have done some estimation on the data volume or the shuffle volume and accordingly set the shuffle partitions. Uh, as per our investigation, after shuffle part of the query looks fine, right? However, the before shuffle query is running very slow. So what they noticed, uh, we know that uh, Spark executes queries as a set of jobs, uh, one job, at least one job before the shuffle and then one another job after the shuffle. So what they are saying is after shuffle job is running fine, that looks fine. But even before shuffle, whatever the job we have before the shuffle, that is running very slow. And usually before shuffle job is running slow means you have something related to the data read, right? Your problem should be lying with the data read because before shuffle, all we do is read the large volume of data and do some narrow dependency transformations and all that should be a quick, all the time goes in reading the data. But in this case, let's try to understand uh, what is the problem? Is it a read problem or some other kind of problem? So that's the uh, objective, what do we want to benchmark? Benchmark the given query. So I took that query from the job and created this benchmarking notebook and we will be using this notebook to understand what is going wrong. So what is benchmarking action? Noob, right? What is the cluster size? We will be using four worker nodes. Each node comes with four CPU core and 14 GB memory. So total 16 CPU cores and 56 GB memory. What is the data volume? Uh, whatever problem they are facing, they are facing it for approximately 41 GB uh, Delta data set. So that's the data volume. What is the goal? Identify the root cause of the performance problem. Mm -hmm. 